In this problem, I'm given that I have a right triangle ABC with angle C equaling 90 degrees. I have to find all the missing parts. If I'm given side A is 91 feet and side B is 85 feet. The first thing we should always do in these situations is just sketch out the information that we're given. So here's a rough sketch of my right triangle. Here's my right angle, so that is angle C. It doesn't matter which of these other angles I call A and B. It's up to me. But now be careful when you label the sides. The side opposite angle A is little a. The side opposite angle B is little b. And the side opposite angle C is little c. And we were given that C is 90 degrees. I've already put my right angle on there. We're also given A is 91 feet. And we're told that side B is 85 feet. So we have to find in the missing side C and angle A and angle B. Well, the easiest thing to find is side C because given two sides of a right triangle, it doesn't matter which two sides, I can always find the third side using the Pythagorean theorem. So remember the Pythagorean theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So the one I'm trying to find is C. I know what A and B is, so let's plug my numbers in. So A squared is 91 squared plus B squared is 85 squared is C squared. So 91 squared is 8,281 plus 85 squared is 7,225. So C squared is 15,506. So C is the positive square root. It's the side of a triangle, so it definitely has to be positive. So the square root of that number on my calculator was 124.523. So side C. Now notice in this problem we weren't told how to round it. So it's kind of up to us. Since we were only given sides A and B accurate to the nearest whole number, it kind of makes sense to round this to the nearest whole number. So what I'm going to do is I want to round it to this position here. So what is the 5 going to do to the 4? It's going to round it up. So C is 125 feet. So I found the missing side. That was the easiest part. Now I'm going to either have to find angle A or angle B. It doesn't matter which one I find to start with. So let's look at angle A. Now notice I now know side C but I had to find it. If C is inaccurate, if I use C to find angle A, A is also going to be inaccurate. So what I want to do is I want to use given information. I know those two are correct. So looking at angle A, I'm given the opposite side, I'm given the adjacent side. Which trig ratio is opposite over adjacent? Hopefully you all remember that the tangent of angle A is opposite over adjacent. And the opposite side was 91 and the adjacent was 85. So then how am I going to find angle A? A is just the inverse tangent of 91 over 85. Make sure when you're doing this on your calculator, your calculator is in degree mode. And I got 46.952 degrees. 
and since we're rounding that to the nearest whole number, that'll give me A is 47 degrees. Because remember, the 9 is going to round this 6 up to a 7. So now the only thing left to find is angle B. And there are two ways to find this. One is by using the sum of the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. But if I do that, I'll have to use angle A in the calculation. If I happen to make a mistake in angle A and angle A is incorrect, then using angle A to find angle B means angle B would be incorrect. If possible, you should always try and use given information. So is there any way using side A and side B to find angle B? Yes, because if I look at angle B, Side B is the opposite side. Side A is the adjacent. So again, it's opposite over adjacent. So I can use that the tangent of angle B is the side opposite angle B over the one adjacent to it. So remember, opposite B is going to be the 85, and adjacent is going to be 91. So angle B is just going to be the inverse tangent on your calculator of 85 over 91. And when I did that, I got 43.047 degrees, which it, when I round it to the nearest whole number is 43 degrees. So I now know that B is 43 degrees. And now since I used given information, what I can do at the very end is add my three angles, 43, 47, and 90. So this is just, we're going to check our answer by adding 43 degrees to 47 degrees, that's angle B plus angle A plus angle C, and does that equal 180 degrees? Yes, so that is a good indication we've done the problem correctly.